welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial, How to Understand and Play the Dorian Scale in Any Key on Guitar. The guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E. Our first question about this should be, where does the Dorian mode come from? Well, all scale modes originate in the key of C major. If we understand how they work in the key of C major, we can easily learn how to apply them in other keys. The key of C major is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. To get Dorian, which is the second mode of the key of C major, we're going to play D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So it sounds like this. Now as you can hear there, the notes are exactly the same, but the scales sound different. When you start a scale on a different note, it gives you a different sound. C major, D Dorian, which is the entire purpose behind using modes. Now what we want to do is to find that Dorian scale in a better place than we played it here so that we can play it anywhere on the neck we want to. So what we're going to do is play D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Up here, 12th fret, that's a D, on the D string. So we're going to play D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So now we have the Dorian mode on the neck of the guitar. So here's D Dorian played at the 12th fret. So we're working four frets, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we're playing the first finger, the third finger, fourth finger, first finger, third finger, finger one, finger two, and finger four. Now that we have a form that we can play on the fretboard, we can move the scale to any key that we would like. If we wanted to play A Dorian, we simply go to the seventh fret on the D string and play the scale. A Dorian, which comes from the key of G major. B flat Dorian. Fret 8.
B flat Dorian comes from the key of A flat major. B Dorian, fret 9. B Dorian comes from the key of A major. C Dorian, fret 10. C Dorian comes from the key of B flat major. And finally, C sharp Dorian. From the key of B major. And that's at fret 11. Now we're back at fret 12. D Dorian. Now I'll show you an example of how we can use these scales over a backing track. What we'll do is put on an A minor backing track. A minor is a key that everybody likes to play in. And D Dorian comes from the key of C. A minor also comes from the key of C. So we're going to use A minor as our backing track and we're going to play a D Dorian scale over it. to see what it sounds like. Now we'll start with A minor pentatonic because that's what we normally play, right? <laughs> then we'll play the D Dorian scale over that backing track to see how they sound different. Notice that when we play the A minor pentatonic and the D Dorian scale over the backing track, the sound changed a little bit. Even though the notes are exactly the same, because the notes are arranged in a different way on the fingerboard, we tend to approach them differently when we play them, giving us a different sound. Now what we'll do is go to A Dorian, which is here at fret 7. <laughs> Play it across the backing track and compare it to A minor pentatonic. Now, the only difference between A Dorian and D Dorian is that we have a wrong note in there. In the D Dorian scale, the notes are all diatonic. Diatonic means that all the notes in the scale are in the key that we're playing in. D Dorian. C major, the same notes. In A Dorian, we have F sharp, which is not in the key of C major or A minor. So what we're going to do is kind of play around with that note to make it sound like it goes in that key. So we won't, we won't linger on that note. We'll kind of work over it to make it work in the key. Here we go. That's how to play the Dorian scale anywhere on the guitar fretboard. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.